What's up, my fellow stuckers? I got a treat for you today, huh? I got a confession. Is Silver really gonna go to the moon? Let's talk about it. Okay, so what I have done is put a few videos together, stuff that's out there on the internet, and uh, very re readily available to everybody. Things that always pop up in our feeds because we're stackers, you know? They're always trying to feed us information, whether it's one way or the other, good or bad. Usually it's all good. And, and you know, I'm sure there's something behind those algorithms that always constantly pushes these videos at you. So make sure you do your proper research, that's all I'm saying. So don't hate me for this. Hey, thanks for having me on, guys. Yeah, the demand has been incredible. Uh, started pretty much, uh, well, started earlier this demand. month with Why is the, the demand? Uh, Senate. Uh, split set out between the Democratic and Republican, oh, so Republican Party, and then Hurry up. with games that are running ready, out, we're uh, running out of silver. Week, Hurry up and uh, go buy it. Why? Metal market. Um, pretty much physical silver, it's almost it's all gone in terms of live inventory. All gone. There's still a few it's items all left gone. for people to uh, buy. Um, and I noticed, uh, I heard you speak about the, the physical price at twenty eight sixty five per ounce. Uh, but that's actually that's actually more of a paper price. Uh, paper currently, price. we're seeing physical price. the premiums with the price you pay that. over spot where to, to get actual physical silver in your hands is skyrocketing. I mean, most stuff on our websites at least thirty percent over spot, and we can't source it Why? for much Why less than that right now. From our this is during the silver squeeze, mind you. Very few customers sell back to us in this market. Okay, so now he's and talking about buy. customers bringing the silver back to them, right? We're stackers. We don't really sell back. And if we're selling back, we're usually selling it to somebody in the community. Once in a while, we have to go do something we don't want to do because we need a little bit of extra money. But overall, we are not selling back to them, right? So let's just let's see what else he's got. Um, wholesalers basically have non-existent inventory. Uh, we, we were able to get a couple orders in tonight at market open with uh with our suppliers but th they've since told us they've wrapped it up for the night and uh we just got an email uh just a few minutes ago it up. They're done for the night they're from one of our suppliers saying they're resetting prices in the morning so we're not really sure where the prices are going to go as it relates to the physical metal um, no idea prices, the price is going. You know, that's one part of the price but the right. actual physical price the price that it would take for you to acquire uh physical silver is a different it's a different animal Hey everybody, Josh here. It's in a world alternative Josh. media here, and we're going to go Josh a little bit into Wall you know, Street a pretty intelligent today guy. and the, quite a the few silver videos. squeeze, um, which of course is trending everywhere. At this moment, it's almost impossible to get silver anywhere because basically every single um, website that sells silver is overrun. Are you catching they're, on to what's going on They're here? basically out of silver, and then of course you have to trust a lot of these major applications to buy ETFs on silver for a long time, and now we see both business. But something that happened um, that I've been talking about for a very long time here is that Robinhood and these other apps shut people down, and we saw the true colors of the establishment basically telling people that they couldn't buy and they could only sell, and it was for their own good, basically nannying like everything else in life. So... Unfortunately, while people are going towards silver and stuff, not enough people are going, well, wait a second. So, same thing. Not enough people going to silver, but why are all the shelves cleaned out? Why are they going out? So, let's go to, you know, let's go to another one. Markets in an uproar. <laughs> in an uproar. Reddit Mafia and Rock in Wall Street. What Maybe does knows. this uh, short squeeze mean for silver and gold? So what does that mean for us? Have you picked up on what that means for us yet? Short squeeze. Who's pushing the short squeeze, right? Reddit supposedly is pushing the short squeeze. They want a GameStop on silver. Is that going to happen? I don't know. Greetings, members. One and all. Greetings, Sal. How are you? Invasion nation. Exciting times we are living in here in the precious metals world. Uh, but I hate to break it to you. The Silver Squeeze 2.0 does not exist. Let's explore. I love that intro by Sal anyway. 
So there's another community member telling us how it is, right? Silver squeeze, telling us silver squeeze, silver squeeze, silver squeeze, let's go squeeze it. Lots of people I know went and bought silver. It's okay, don't worry. You wanna get involved, you wanna see if it can happen, right? You wanna see if it can happen. So we go out and we buy more silver. I did not buy during either silver squeeze, just to let, just for the record. But lots of people did, so the shelves are cleaned out. Everybody shuts down. Websites are down, down, down. We're all buying like mad because we need silver before we run out, right? They're all telling us we're running out of silver. We have better hurry up and get it while you can because it's going there. It's going to the moon, right? Going to the moon. Second try at the silver squeeze, you know? Let's buy some more silver. Hurry up, though, because if you don't get it now, you never know where that price is going to be. SD Bullion CEO just said they have no idea. Their, their supplier shut down. They're not, they don't even know where the price is going at. It could go anywhere, right? They have more. They just don't want to give it to them, right? So we're buying everything we can now. Right? Let's stock up as much as possible. Keep buying, keep buying, keep buying, keep buying. All right, so let's see what we have next. On today's episode, Finance stay untrapped. tuned to the end to see how Francis Hunt's price target for silver goes from $175 to $5,126. 5000 $5, So he's like skipping over everything. We've never even touched really above 50 for more than, you know, a year or six months. I didn't look that up, so I don't know for sure. It wasn't long. It went right back down, didn't it? Right? Right? I think so. So we got one last one for you. Absolutely right. I mean, there does seem to be a disconnect between spot gold price and demand for gold bullion. We're seeing a big premium. See, and this can go in, the same uh, with silver. Silver a and gold between the physical silver and, and paper silver, and as well to your point with gold. But I guess the question is at what point does this premium catch up? with a spot price. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think what's uh, artificially depressing the uh, price of gold now is that uh, there's a lot of institutional investors that don't hold gold, but what they do is they buy gold derivatives like futures and, and so on. And, so uh, paper and market, right? Are paper market. So everybody uh, talks about, well, there's a different price for paper market, there's a different price. What are the bullion dealers buying at, right? The wholesalers, they're going to grab it. They're going to put their, pre their their tax on it, ship it on over, right? So why are our premiums $12, $10, $8 on Silver Eagles, right? 25 times face for junk silver, right? Junk silver. Why do we call it junk silver? Why? Okay, so... I admit, I was duped. I thought this was going to be, I thought we were going down, you know. Beer flu hit. I'm watching all these pumper videos. I jumped on the wagon. I started buying. I'll tell you what, I loved it too. I fell in love with the shiny stuff. Silver to the moon. It's going to the moon, right? Everybody thought so. The entire world shut down. Can't even get toilet paper for crying out loud. It's going to the moon this time for sure. Better go buy all you can, right? What happens? The premiums go to the moon. Who wins there? Do we win there? No. We don't win. We're paying the premiums. We're not paying spot price. We're not paying anywhere near spot price. We are getting the short end of the stick on both short squeezes. Why didn't we learn our lesson the first time? Premiums to the moon. Premiums to the moon. Not silver to the moon. Not silver to the moon. Premiums to the moon. But I'll tell you what, I'm done. I'm not done stacking. I'm not done collecting, but I'm done fear mongering or, or FOMOing, you know? Oh my God, I gotta buy as much as I can, as fast as I can, let's get it done. You know, here's, let me go cash in some uh, Bitcoin or let me go cash in uh, GameStop and take my GameStop uh, winnings out, go buy tons of silver. Why not? It's going there. Everybody's telling us it's going there. If it's going to take a natural disaster, uh, you know, the world shutting down, didn't that just happen? Didn't the entire world just shut down? What happened to silver? It went like $32, 33 I think, maybe. Where'd it go then? Back down. Now it's struggling to can't even break 30 But you know what? 
go buy more silver. They got us. And they continue to get us because we get new people in there because we're not educating the new people that come in here properly. I got duped. I jumped in. I jumped in head first. I bought a whole bunch. And I kept buying. I kept buying. I kept buying. But thank God. Thank God. I found these things. This. Tell me how these are affected with spot price. I, I invite any of you to come up here and, and come talk to me next time I'm live. And let's talk about how these are affected by spot price. Really. Because this is rare. And this is rare. Not as rare as that, obviously. But I didn't see no price drop in these when, when the spot price went down. You know? Even when spot price went up. These were basically the same. You know, you might pay just a tad more for gold. Because gold is gold. And you know what gold does? Gold goes up. And up. And up. Silver... It went like this, and then this, and then it came up a little bit, and then back down again, and then up a little bit more, COVID, back down again. I didn't see these dropping. I still paid the same amount just about for all, both of these, and I, I buy these constantly. If anybody follows me knows that I love these things, these Morgans, but these are collectible pieces. You get more than just stackers involved with stuff like this. These don't get affected as much. So why not? If you're going to stack, right? If you're going to stack and store your wealth somewhere. And I agree. This is a good place to store your, some of your wealth. But not, not a crazy amount. Not crazy. It's going to the moon amount, you know? Gold is a very good investment in my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a plumber. But gold seems to have always gone up throughout the years. You know, if you look back however far, gold has always held very strong values silver it's held too but not no nowhere near what gold is because they're not gonna let it happen this is not a game stock stock they tried it two times not even close to touching it the only thing that went to the moon was the money out of our pockets to buy it because it is going to the moon right but no the premiums went to the moon it goes up it goes down who plays those the best the people with the most money and the most to put in there. If it's at 25, they can sell it at 26 and they make a million dollars. You know, two million dollars if it goes up two dollars. We can't do stuff like that. You know, we can't we have millions of dollars to go gamble on a short squeeze. But they can because they know that you're not going to bankrupt JP Morgan. They've owned this market for so long. They just wrote a billion dollar check and laughed about it. Market manipulation at its best. GameStop, market ma manipulation at its best. They hit the stop button on a stock. I mean, how messed up is that? How messed up? You just hit the button. You don't think they could do this on something they've held and owned for so long? Generations? They got stockpiles that we don't even know about? I mean, come on, get real, people. I got duped, I admit it. But let's educate ourselves. Buy some of this stuff. This is collectible. This this carries more than just its weight in silver. This you're anytime you sell this, you're getting close to spot. All of this right here. This is well above spot. And you can call in a lot of people. The silver stacker market is very small compared to most others, right? The collector market, I would say, is even bigger than the stacker market because not only do you get the stacker slash, slash collector or collector slash stacker, you get collectors of art, things like that. Things that people like old stuff. This is old and it's pretty. You know, a 65. That's, that, I love it. Who doesn't? Thanks for watching the Plumber Stacker, where I show you my stack, but not my crack. Please like, share, and subscribe.